We all have heard of this framework called ClawDev, a VS Code extension that autonomously codes agents right into your IDE. It's capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, and more with your permissions each step of the way. Now, thanks to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet's agentic coding capabilities, Cloud Dev can handle complex software development tasks step by step with the LM. But now, you're going to be able to access the O1 preview model as well as the O1 mini within Cloud Dev. And this is where we're going to be showcasing the new updated version of Cloud Dev today. Now, I've made multiple videos on it where I was capable of creating crazy apps with it. And I definitely recommend that you take a look at those videos, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. This is, in my opinion, one of my favorite extensions or frameworks you call for coding based tasks. Just to showcase the capability of Cloud Dev, take a look at this application, which is called Draw to Code, a feature that will allow users to visually design and instantly generate code. Now, this was something that was built with a group of different components that was generated by Cloud Dev, and it seems to be working seamlessly across the web, iPhone, as well as Vision Pro. It's all powered by Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and it automates complex coding tasks for you. And this was fully generated with the help of Cloud Dev. So now let's emphasize on some of the new updates that have been released for Cloud Dev. First things first is the task history feature. With this new update, you're gonna be able to automatically save your tasks and it's gonna allow you to resume where you left off previously. Whether you paused mid task or stepped away for a while, you can easily pick up right where you left off. What's even cooler is that Cloud Dev is now smart enough to recognize if any changes were made to your project in the meantime. So it's going to ensure that there's a seamless workflow and it's going to help you stay on track with the minimal hassle. Another new feature is that you have the ability to edit Cloud Dev's changes before they accept them. When Cloud Dev edits or creates a new file, you're going to be able to review and modify this change directly in the right side of the diff view. Now, this gives you full control to fine tune the code before you finalize it. Plus, if you come across any reset or different placeholder mistakes, you can simply just hover over the React block and you're going to be able to easily undo those specific actions. It's a flexible way to ensure that the output matches exactly what you're capable of committing. Another new feature is that Cloud Dev changes now appear in your file's timeline. It's going to make it super easy for you to view diffs or past edits. This is especially useful if you need to revert to a previous version of your code. Now, the best part is there's no need for Git. Everything is tracked by VS Code's local history. So you can access a complete record of the efforts or the different edits that were made by Cloud Dev. And you can review those changes, restore any version that you would want, all within your IDE. So it streamlines the whole process and it gives you more control over your project's evolution. Probably my favorite feature is that you can run commands directly in your terminal. With this new update, you can execute commands without leaving your IDE. And it makes the development even more seamless. There's also a proceed while running button, and it's going to allow Cloud Dev to continue working in the background as commands execute. This means that Cloud Dev can respond to live feedback like server errors and make real time adjustments as the files are edited. Now, this is something that was developed by a really cool developer called Tyler, and he enabled this feature to have the integration of a new shell integration within VS Code. Now, this is possibly one of the biggest updates where you're going to be able to monitor your workspace for linter, compiler, and build issues as Cloud Dev works. This means that the framework will automatically catch and fix big problems like missing imports, type errors, and other common issues all on its own. This is something that is quite like big in my opinion as it can autonomously fix these functionalities. It's a self-learning system now, whether you're debugging or refining your code. It's going to help ensure everything runs smoothly and it's going to do it proactively where it's going to resolve errors before they become bigger problems. And this is why I'm really loving this application because of the developer who has been continuously working. And I have some cool things that I've talked to him personally on, which I'll share in a bit. Now, we all might have heard that OpenAI recently just dropped two new models, the O1 Preview and the O1 Mini, which are two really amazing models, but they are kind of expensive but they definitely top Cloud 3.5 Sonnet in almost every benchmark. And now you're going to be able to access those two models. And I've actually made a video where I combined the O1 preview model with ADAR, and I was able to make some crazy applications with it, which I definitely recommend that you watch. But now you can simply just select the model. But in this case, you're going to need to provide an API key for it. And the pricing, just make sure that you are familiar about the input and the output price because this is definitely an, a really, really expensive model. 
Now, I was talking to the developer of Cloud Dev where I told him a couple of suggestions, and this is where I maybe asked him to create a direct selection of files rather than a read file command, where you can easily select and upload files that can make it easier. And now he's actually working on a feature similar to this that should be coming out fairly soon. Another cool thing that he had mentioned to me is that Gemini support is now live where you can use Cloud Dev for free with up to 15 requests per minute. This means that anyone can take full advantage of Cloud Dev's capabilities like autonomous coding, error handling, and as well as file management without any cost barriers. Whether you're working on a small project or experimental with uh, different code segments, you can utilize this update, which is fully free. And this is a video that I plan on making very soon. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. Now, before we move on forward, I definitely recommend that you follow this guy. He's the developer of Cloud Dev. He's super friendly, and I definitely love what he has done for this project. So huge props to this guy. Now, if you want to get started with this, make sure you have VS Code installed as your IDE, and you can install Cloud Dev as an extension. This is for the people who do not have it installed. It's super easy. Once you have VS Code installed, you can simply go over to the extension marketplace, and you can search up Cloud Dev, and just simply click on Install. And then you can go into Cloud Dev and you can start utilizing it by simply going on the config button over here, which is the settings, provide an API provider from Anthropic to OpenAI, the open router, as well as Google Gemini for the free uh, utilization of 15 requests per minute. Now, you, in my opinion, we're going to be showcasing the new O1 preview. So I'm going to be pasting an API key and showcasing a couple edits for this new model. So now let's showcase the capability of Cloud Dev as well as having it combined with an O1 preview model. This is where I requested to build a web-based whiteboard app where multiple users can draw, sketch, or write in real time. Users can join sessions, share ideas visually, and vote on designs using different color pens. Now joining the session thing might be a little difficult to configure with Cloud Dev, but we're going to attempt to try it. Now the app would include real-time syncing, user authentication, and a chat interface. You could also add AI powered shape recognition for converting rough sketches into polished designs. Now you can already see that it is super expensive to just figure out this base plan. So we're going to start off by creating this with the O1 preview, and it's going to take a couple of minutes to start figuring out all the things that it's needed. So it's going to start on adding basic styling. It focused on creating the plan the created a project structure which is a new update that we see it never really created a more formatted request and we can see that it is now requesting to create all the files that are necessary so this is already adding up nine cents already and i know this could be really expensive for the average person to create something with cloud dev but it is definitely useful and in my opinion using this much is not that hard it's something that will create the base for you Whereas if you were to do it from scratch, it would basically take hours and hours. Now, in this case, you can run the, the command in your terminal. So this is the shell integration that I was talking about. You can directly run these commands in your terminal and you're going to be able to run all of it within VS Code. And let's say if I was to just stop using it, you're going to be able to easily come back to the save and you're going to be able to start interacting with it right away. So now I'm going to start and finish off everything that is necessary and we'll, we'll be back once I finish coding this out. And there you go. You have this app that was fully created and you can even have this chat integration component integrated. So you can see that I created the rough outline for this app and you can even prompt further to make it better, add different components, add menu bars and whatnot. Now stay tuned for the next upload where I'm going to be showcasing the integration with the new DeepSeek model as well as the integration with the new Gemini 1. Flash update. But that's basically it for today's update on Cloud Dev. Definitely love this new update where they've introduced a couple of new features. So I definitely recommend that you try this out and see if it's something that works for you. A huge respect to the creator of this project. So I'll leave his Twitter page in the description below so that you can follow him. But that's basically it for today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.